I'm Aaron Sams. We're here in Woodland Park, Colorado at Woodland Park High School. Flipped learning, I think, on a really basic level is taking what has traditionally been given in a lecture in terms of direct instruction and shifting that out of the class time and then using that recuperated time more wisely, more valuably to really meet the individual learning needs of students. The way I got started doing this is I just started recording my lessons live for my students who were missing class and posting those online for them as a resource. They get to access it when they want to, and that could be at 10 o'clock at night, it could be 6 o'clock in the morning, it could be on the bus to, work, to the soccer game. Um, they have control of that. Students would watch those before they came to class, and then class time was work time, engaging in some, uh, some higher order thinking, and the, so we didn't have to use our class time for direct instruction, we could shift that out of the class. There's a site where we go to and we watch our podcast and it has like all the units. And during the class period we're doing labs and applying the skills that we learned at home. I wish more people would do the flipped classroom. It, I think it definitely works for every speed of learner. If a student is a fast learner, they can go through the material as quickly as they want. The slower learners, the students who struggle, they have control of the rate at which they learn the material. So they can pause the teacher, they can rewind the teacher, they can view it multiple times if they need to. If everyone's not doing the same thing at the same time on the same day, my class looks a little chaotic. It looks like a three ring circus of learning is what I call it. I also give them the option, if they don't want to take my test, to demonstrate their understanding in some other way. So I have students making video games, writing comic books, creating art projects. So yeah, the sky's the limit. Whatever they want to do, as long as they can uh, prove to me that they, that they get it, that they're learning, that they understand these things, then it's good enough for me. There's a school in Michigan that has adopted this instructional model for all of their core classes. What they're seeing there is that uh, their failure rates have gone from like in the 40% down to single digits. So this is, that's pretty remarkable there. One of the concerns that educators are really wrestling with these days is the fact that we are preparing our students for jobs that don't exist yet. And I really see flipped learning as a tool that teachers can leverage to help students learn to think, learn to access information when they need it, and to be able to process it in a meaningful way. So I might not be training my kids for a specific job, but I'm giving them the tools, the, the ability to, to think and the process and the problem solve that they will need for whatever they end up doing.